Well, hello everyone and welcome to Hogarth's Global Astrology. Know your planets, know yourself, or know your nation, know yourself. The two are interchangeable. Uh, uh, okay, today, yeah, you know, I've been watching the news and stuff and everything like that. And I was, I was really reluctant to do this video my plan was to do a Diana video, as as I said, but as you would have seen with recent news, particularly surrounding Kate or Catherine, Princess Catherine, but we also call her Kate, of course, in the UK, over the doctored photos and all of this kind of stuff. Uh, I was thinking, well, maybe I do Catherine. No, I I, I think I'll just I'll just have to leave Diana for um another time and i will and i will do her chart because recent developments particularly with the manipulated image which is now and again this uh, for those of you who think uh, still might think this is gossip uh, this this is, is this is not gossip um I'm really concerned. <clears throat> I'm really concerned. As you would have seen, I made my video a few a few months ago. Uh, no, not months ago, a few weeks ago now. And thank you to all who have, uh, you know, commented on the video and stuff like that. I mean, I think it really did make a big um, impact. And I think it resonated a lot, a lot with people. And I looked at her chart. And do you remember what I was saying? I said, Kate's going through a dark night of the soul. She's going through a time in her life of really genuinely a dark night of the soul time in her life. And then, of course, subsequently, I did a um, Williams chart as well and <clears throat> obviously described some of the challenges there and, uh, and stuff like that. And there's even stuff in Williams chart that I can't even say. Um, uh, but I'm, I'm not even going to hint, actually, but, you know, maybe it might come out one day. And if it does, I will. But even within that, again, A1 wants to try and be a bit uh, respectful um, because there is such intense speculation. And there is a lot of insane things out there. But as you know, I read charts and not everything people are saying is, ins is insane. And... For me, with the with the with the doctored photo, yeah, the manipulated photo. So what 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 what's the context? Just in case you don't know, and I never I never want to assume that everyone keeps up on all of this stuff because you know a lot of people aren't interested in the royals, and that's absolutely fine. And for those that aren't, then you won't be watching this video anyway. But just to give you a little bit of context, uh, this is a massive global story. So it's not just us Brits uh, who are obviously kind of inquiring and asking um, about about this stuff. It's gone all around the world. Um, for those of you who do not know, and many of you may not know, in the UK there is an embargo on what can be reported by the UK press in regard to the royal family. So I just want everyone to know this because some people are like, oh, well, I've not heard this or I've not heard that. And, oh, that must be a rumor and blah, blah, blah. Many of the uh, uh, of the things that are said about the, the royal family cannot be substantiated because in the UK we are not allowed to report on them. Uh, there is an agreement between the UK British press about what can and cannot be said about the royal family. The agreement is uh, as far as i understand that uh the press especially after what happened with diana that the press would try not to hound or intrude but when like official photographs were requested or made or pictures of the children or um other kind of especially particularly when it comes to public engagements and stuff like that is that the the press would have access and they would be given official photographs uh, for that moment etc and that's been a, an agreement that's been in place for really quite some time now 
So in terms of other things in regards to William's uh, alleged behavior or infidelities, etc., and stuff like that, the British press are not allowed legally, as far as I'm aware, to report on these things, or, or they have at the very least what is uh, referred to as a gentleman's agreement not to report on certain things. So that needs to be understood first. Uh, there are many images uh, in the, uh, for UK residents like myself where that we are not allowed to see, yeah, or just don't get published. And the thing that's concerned me, the reason why I'm kind of a little bit more concerned is because I saw something on Australian news and I'm going to play a little section. Hopefully the, the video won't get demonetized, but obviously it's, you know, a public news forum and I'm only going to play a section of it. And I can and now there's a picture of Kate or uh, Catherine Middleton or Princess Catherine in um, a Land Rover driven by her mother. Now, I can understand why this picture wasn't shown in the UK because, well, as far as I'm aware, because the second I saw the picture, I reached an instantaneous instinctive conclusion that was immediate for me. And I'll explain in a minute. Uh, why that is when when I play when I play that clip. Why is this important? So of course you know not everyone is interested in the royals, and I totally understand it. I understand that. But the reason why this is particularly uh, important for me is that first of all I'm a Brit. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Not every single Brit is interested in the royal family, but most are. But I'm also a big fan of history. Yeah, history, you know, the kings and queens of this, that and the other, not only Britain, the uh, other countries as well, uh, lineage, how it works, crown jewels, all of those various things, because I've been very interested in gemology, actually, for a long time since I was a child. And I've seen uh, the crown jewels at the Tower of London, uh, at least on three occasions, I think. And they are stunning. They are spectacular. Yes. Some people would say, half, you know, half the gems in certain crowns are looted. And, you know, obviously, they're, they're, those, are, those are fair arguments as well. But they are still fascinating to see because I've said in the video before, but just in case for those that haven't seen that video, I'll say it again. In, in, the, in the UK, uh, when it comes to the royal family, the power resides in the crown, not necessarily the monarch. Yeah, it's the crown that or the, that temporal power or the symbols of the crown, the crown itself and the scepter and the orb. And then, of course, there's the anointing with the holy oil, etc. All of this stuff, which was uh, that that uh, vessel was the only thing to actually survive uh, when um, uh, briefly under Cromwell, when the, uh, Britain was uh, a republic, or England was well, was a republic under Oliver Cromwell, uh, those uh, jewels were sort of like taken out, broken down, things melting down, and everything had to be basically reconstituted again. But the little kind of, I think it's a little eagle or something, but the 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 this vessel, a little gold vessel in which they put the holy oil to use to anoint the king or the queen, which has happened for hundreds of years now. Um, that's still part of the original uh, uh, collection uh, that managed to escape being melted down and was brought back under the restoration, which, um, for, if I re recall my history correctly, was King Charles II. Because let's not forget King Charles, King Charles I was beheaded. Yeah. <clears throat> So then basically uh, when, when under the restoration, we then had this constitutional monarchy, et cetera, which I think bits of it has, has evolved. We have the civil list, <clears throat> which is basically the payments that go to the royal family to maintain them. And then, of course, they do duties, services, uh, you know, good PR. Uh, and, you know, they kind of do their part to kind of help the British uh, economy, et cetera, and those things. So they, uh, we have a constitutional uh, monarchy, which means that the monarchy is effectively a part of the government. People need to remember this, government. 
And as you know, what have I been saying ad nauseum now <clears throat> for ages, which is that Pluto, sidereal Pluto, is in Capricorn, not in Aquarius. Capricorn deals with government, traditions, pressure, top-down structures. It deals with uh, the corporate world, big, you know, even things like big pharma, big business, big companies. The royal family, the British royal family, is a very Capricornian institution. And it's literally called what? The firm. The firm. You know, where the firm is another word for what? A corporate institution. So, it, you know, the, the royal family and, and the government are very closely intertwined. Uh, for those viewers that may or may not knew, know, the prime minister sees the king or the reigning king or the queen every week without fail. Every week they sit down and they have a private conversation, which is off the records. <clears throat> so in Britain, the royal family and the government have been intertwined for hundreds of years, especially since the restoration. So it just to try and put into context, at least for Brits, a war and also by extension, I suppose, the whole world, the, the monarchy in the UK is a living, breathing uh, institution that has so much more ties than just, um, you know, photo opportunities and stuff like that. They perform a very ceremonial uh, role. Uh, they, you know, things to do with, you know, Commonwealth, etc., all of this stuff. And the Commonwealth has expanded. It, before it used to just be, you know, colonial countries, basically. But now uh, countries that were never part of the British Empire are also part of the Commonwealth, etc. You know, Canada being uh, one of the Commonwealth, I think South Africa as well. I can't think of all the countries off the top of my head. But the point is, it was something that I saw uh, on, the, on this Australian news that this is what's kind of really kind of got me worried. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share. I'm going to share the screen and I'm just going to play the clip. Just going to play the clip. I forward it on YouTube to the section that really made my eyes pop out. Yeah, really made my eyes pop out. So let me just do. And then I'm going to pull some cards. Uh, we'll look a little bit at Kate's chart, but this is more about kind of like pulling cards and you know, just asking some questions and stuff because something really is not right. And with this doctored photo stuff, that is just, for me, that's just like, eh, mm, you know, you know, really quite worried. All right, so let's do share. And then let's do this bit here and then let's click up in this corner. This tiny device has changed the way I eat breakfast. This can't believe that that advert flew up there. Let me just do. You can see all these various different things. Let's expand the screen. Oh, sorry about that. It's the question oh, that has taken over the. Ah, it reset. Let me just go here. Now this is from seven news so i think this is like uh, what's this sunshine australia i've got no idea if they've got any political affiliation or this that any other so don't chew me out in the comments if it turns out there's some more on the right or more on the left or whatever what captivated me was a certain section of the story because you can imagine this has become a global thing now where is it this is where i want to play it from Let's see play it from here now you'll see what I mean in a minute. Let's press play. Providing updates when something was significant. The spokesperson reiterated the princess was, quote, doing well. On March 4, this photo emerges. It's seemingly Kate Middleton being driven by her mom in a black Audi near Windsor Castle. And it's safe to say that Kate looks different. Right. This is what, this is the bit that got me. Yeah. This is the bit that got me. Kate has a very distinctive face, uh, as we know. Look, you can see here. As as we know, she has what is uh, called a classic. She has a heart-shaped face. 
she's more narrow at the chin <clears throat> and then you see her face goes into an a, a oval classic it's a classic shape for archetypally for feminine beauty etc and stuff like that now my first instinct when i saw her, now i do understand yes um uh this is supposed to be her post op etc and stuff like that but my immediate instinct when i saw the picture was that that really looks like Pippa to me, her sister. Now, from what I'm aware, this picture has not been shown in the U in the UK uh, media, as far as I'm aware, because of that embargo, like I said. But it also makes sense because for me, as a Brit, you know, I know the faces of the royal family quite well, and I used to work in events, and I've done lots of royal events and stuff. I've seen, literally, I've topped up Prince Charles's class, seen the Queen, and pretty much all the royal family back in back in my sort of, like, student days and up into my later 20s and stuff. I used to do a lot of, like, events. I've seen Prince Harry and William playing polo, the whole shebang. I know what these people look like, and my instinct is, is that this looks like Pippa to me, or you know anyway the giveaway for me is the jawline yeah the giveaway for me is is the jawline but also as well the tip of the nose if you'll notice here do you see kate's natural nose kate has a slightly upturned nose so does pippa but not as much as kate and you can see here that angle is just slightly different and it's not quite um as upturned so i'm just gonna stop stop the share there uh and let's go back to where where i was look i you're probably thinking oh hoagie come on come on you get you know no like like when i when i see that picture and what i'm going to do is with that with that clip that i've showed you i'm going to link it in the video description um below and you just watch it for yourself and it talks about several different uh, timelines also as well it, it there is no doubt it is not a conspiracy theory as we know that picture was pulled by global media let me tell you that is the first time i think that has happened where an official royal shot has actually been pulled because it's been manipulated now in the uk press they are reporting on that and they actually zoom into the different areas you know charlotte's sleeve as they were talking about the zip uh for um uh, catherine not being uh quite right uh the bit in the background between behind uh prince louis's legs the bit where it doesn't it doesn't quite add up it should it should be a straight line some people are actually looking at the cardigan that she's wearing and they identify the cardigan. Um, I saw this on another clip, which was something from uh, Reese. And because you know, C Catherine likes to wear high street fashion as well. And you can actually see that the, um, the cardigan is the one that the woman in the video is talking about, but the color has, is different. And she says the color only comes in two shades, it only comes in cream, and like a biscuit brown i think she said it doesn't come in that kind of dark color that kate's wearing catherine is wearing also uh which also is shown in that clip as well they said that uh, catherine's photo uh, her smiling when they they said it looks like the front cover of a vogue photo shoot that she did a while back also as well people are talking about the leaves on the tree in the background as you know uh we're still in the very early parts of spring here the daffodils are out yeah the daffodils and stuff like that are out but the trees are not in leaf yeah the trees are not in leaf none of them not even here in the southeast some little buds and stuff emerging so the idea, of course, for the Mother's Day was that it would have been taken maybe on the Mother's Day or there or thereabouts. The whole point of the photograph was to end speculation, wasn't it, which has been rife, to end the speculation about what's going on with Kate, is she well, blah, 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 etc. And all it has done, as they proverbially say, is pour gas on the fire. And 
And again, you know, I know my own country. I know what the seasons are like. If the, if that photograph was taken even last week, you know, that tree would not have leaves on it. And if I if I recall correctly, if when I look at that tree, that sheep tree looks like a, a similar to my tree that I have outside, which is Indi which is an Indian chestnut, yeah. Or it could be a generic chestnut tree. The, the, those, the leaves of those trees tend not to come out until the end of March, early April. And I know because I've got an Indian chestnut tree right outside of my flat. And it's actually one of the latest ones to actually, the chestnut trees, they take a while longer. Their, their leaves are bigger and they also as well with, uh, with chestnut trees, they produce the leaf and the flower at the same time. So, you know, you got some trees, you get you get the leaves and then you get the flowers. Or in the case with magnolias, you get the flowers first, then you get then you get the leaves. Chestnut trees always produce the leaf and the flower at the same time. So for me, uh, I need I need to maybe kind of check it again more closely. But my instinct is that looked like an Indian chestnut tree or a chestnut tree. And there's a I think there's a little bit of yellowing there as well, which suggests that it could have actually happened in autumn, which would make more sense because that would have been October, November is the more uh, that that. that contextually makes uh, more sense and also as well the texture of the light you'll notice is quite milky you'll also notice as well that Kate and the kids uh, are very fair in the picture as well which would suggest that they've not seen sun for a while uh, because you don't see that much sun in the UK uh, of course uh, so with the light and stuff like that to me it looks like it was either taken in the fall uh, October November um, you know at the at the earliest but if it were to be taken just a few weeks ago that tree would not have leaves on it it just wouldn't so that already throws throws the timing out and you'll see in the video so like but for me it was the it was the bit with the car the bit with the car i was just like nah nah and you know, and even even if her face was swollen, it doesn't it doesn't change your jawline. In that, it, to me, it really looks like Pippa. So uh, also as well, of course. Um, so here I've got my notes here. So yeah, I talked about the the photograph. I think the photograph is said to be manipulated in about thirteen places, but it's 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 definitely significant. Remember, too, as well, these global agencies, picture agencies, they do not do this normally. So, again, this isn't conspiracy theory. There is no doubt that the picture was doctored, manipulated because they said it was. Then you can actually you can actually see it. And they refused to uh, hold the picture and they issued a kill notice. First time I think that's ever happened with royal photographs. And and I put here as well in my notes, I put. Why should Kate take the blame? Apparently, she's issued a statement saying, oh, I'm sorry for blah, blah, blah. Why should she take the blame? She obviously didn't take the photograph because she's in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's in the photo. Anyway, so I put here and I, I put here, she's a very good photographer. Remember, Kate has been doing a lot of the um, official photographs, her, William, uh, the, the kids, etc. So I'm putting here, um, she's she's a good, she's a very good photographer and would not have been clumsy with her touch ups. And if the photos were released to official sources, uh and and that if she had released photos to um to sort of like uh, the agencies before and it, the clear manipulation was at play then the agencies would have killed her other work do you know what i mean she said well you know i play with these things but they actually do have this kind of i don't know if statue is the right word but they do say that, you know they will not put out doctored photographs because of because because thing ai and all of that kind of stuff remember i said we're entering the era of deep fake um, I said when Neptune moves into sidereal Pisces, which it did on the 22nd of February 2023. 
Also, as well, the other thing. Um, let's uh, yeah, I mentioned that from the Kerber. Also, the other thing, the ring. The ring is missing. This is what I put here. The missing ring, a mistake a woman, and particularly a married one, would not make. What Now, I didn't even notice the ring before. Yeah, I didn't even notice the ring. Why would I notice the ring? Men don't read. You know, maybe some do, but most of us don't notice this stuff. <laughs> it, it didn't. I, I, when I first saw the photograph, I, I didn't notice that she didn't have a ring on her finger at all. Yeah, but, you know, I'm a bloke at the end of the day. You know, you know, we, we don't really pay that, that much attention to things. But then the women were just like, ah, where is it? Where is it? So so I put it here. That, that means that it's likely a man made an edit to the photos. Yeah. A female editor of the photos would not have missed that. I think that is fair to say. A woman would be like, well, where's her ring? Or if it was Kate, she'd be like, oh, where's my ring? Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, you know, she, mm, it just doesn't add up. Uh, so I'm saying it's a man that made the edits. And that man most likely was William. Yeah, it was probably William. And that would also explain if William had cut it together or someone assisting William had cut it together, that would explain some of the, the shoddiness of, of, of the edits. Kate would not have made mistakes like that. Remember, she, she's a big student of photography and she's been releasing official royal photographs of her and the kids and William for a while now. And none of them have been rejected before. So look, look, let's put that into sort of like a bit of context as well. Uh, and then if it was released by William, which is said, remember, William was said to be the author of, 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 of this picture. And when they open the file, there's things that you can see in the metadata. And they said it was opened in Photoshop twice. Yeah. They said it was saved and it was opened and saved in Photoshop twice because it will show on the actual file when they analyzed it and that's from official news and again not conspiracy theory or gossip that's from the official news uh, and i put here which is why is not uh, so if william sent it which is why it would not have had the same level of scrutiny if it had come direct if it had come directly from him or the palace the manipulations were spotted by agencies and social media so again and then here I also write, I strongly suspect that either the operation met, that she's had may have gone wrong or it was certainly unexpected. And, uh, you know, now I'm really starting to think the whole context of why she was in hospital in the first place. It, it You know, it's I'm not sure if it's honest. Let's put it that way because I've been watching the pundits and stuff like that. And um, a lot of them have been saying, like, if this is the case, and because they're also saying, remember as well, they're saying, release the original photo. They refuse to, yeah? William refuses to release the original photo. So, of course, if you're wanting to end speculation, if it's a case of, well, oh, Kate just tweaked a little bit here, tweaked a little bit there, then of course you can show the original photo with maybe the kids having a slightly different expression and stuff like that. If you're not showing the original, it's because you don't want to show the original source of this, yeah? Kate's face. Because then obviously it's going to be turning up in a different context, which would completely destroy the illusion that was obviously being tried to be made. So I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask here. Um, I'm going to ask her how, I'm going to ask, how is Kate? How actually is she? And I'm using my, um, I'm using the Manziel's Tarot 2 deck. Yeah, using the Manziel's Tarot 2 deck. Because, oh, let me just make sure I've got everything the right way up. Because I'm just, for me, that picture in the car, oh, man. 
just energetically i just feel like it i mean maybe i'm imagining it let, let me know in the comments what you think but energetically i just feel like it's not her it looks for me much more like pippa anyway okay how is kate how is kate is she well <sighs> and of course with that doctored mother day mother's day photograph it means we genuinely have not seen an up-to-date picture of kate because we you know they refused to uh, um issue the original so do you know what I mean? If they're not showing the original, then that it must mean that it's old and everything else is indicating that it's old, in which case, so why has Kate not been seen with an up-to-date modern photograph? On a certain level, is it any of our business? No, it's not. But when, for me, I feel like this has kind of crossed the line a bit because, and this is what a lot of the pundits are saying, because it's supposed to be based on you know, the media is supposed to be able to trust that the, you know, the household will give true photographs, not manipulated. Anyway, what's going on with Kate? What's just going on with her? I'm really worried now. And I didn't even think that I would be, but for me, the picture in the car, I'm just like, mm -mm. and this... Now this manipulated photograph. Mm. Well. Mm. Very interesting. All right. And my last video was uh, demonetized, and I think it's uh, some people tell me it's because of the tarot cards sometimes when they're a bit saucy. Look here, the tower, yeah? So I'll flash them up and flash them down again. Kate's having a tower moment, which I suppose in many ways is obvious, but spirit speaking very clearly here, isn't it? She's obviously had this uh, health crisis. I think the 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 reasons why she's actually in hospital, the whole for me, I'm starting to even doubt the whole context now, this planned, you know, operation thing. I really am. Uh whatever it was, it was it was a tower moment, a shock, a surprise, or um some kind of sudden revelation, uh something explosive. Was there an argument? Um, you know, did Kate do something? Did she maybe even potentially even do something to herself or was something done to her? And therefore she needed to have this this operation. Because again, in that in that clip, when I'll put the link below, they were saying that um, this idea of a planned operation apparently was a surprise to everyone. But I'll let you watch watch that clip. Let's just focus on the cards. Next card here, justice. But look at the look at the image. Yeah, look at the image. This eye peeping out. Oh, I mean, is is that is that Kate in a sense? Is she peeping out? Does she feel does she feel trapped, perhaps in some kind of way? Now, the justice card, of course, uh, deals with you know fairness, justice, legalities, etc., stuff like that. But in the five card spread that I do, the second card is the obstacle position. So it means this card could actually be interpreted in the reverse, which is harshness it's like an unfair judgment is made against someone or something it's like having the book thrown at you or uh being judged harshly now we know that this has already happened there's a lot of speculation about kate uh and particularly in regard of course to harry and megan and certain allegations and stuff like that that uh, that were made uh by the sussexes and stuff and obviously this is you know maybe this is showing there's an element here but i feel it is going deeper than that i feel like there's uh kate is feeling like she's being judged harshly by someone and i'm starting to think it might be a bit closer to home yeah starting to be a little bit closer to home you know maybe someone she's married to you know just thinking just thinking because for me that 
the image in the car and that the old this whole doctored stuff it, that makes one start to question many things and do you remember i said i said pluto's going through sidereal capricorn which deals with what established institutions like the royal family and stuff like that and that means what bringing stuff up up and out it's like a hand grenade or i always say pluto is like a like next door cats dropping a maggoty rat on the bed yeah stuff comes up which we're also seeing of course in the united states but now here for the uk and britain and around the world so here seven of wands so uh the seven of wands if i recall yeah it's about it's about uh defending on from a hill yeah defending from the hillside this has turned up uh, in the middle here. So it is, you know, there, it, uh, this, I think, on a certain level is the palace, in a sense, trying to defend itself. Maybe Kate trying to defend herself. But I don't think she should have been blamed for this. I really, I don't think she should have. Pardon me. Why should she have to apologize for the, for the, for the photo? She's clearly not well. And she was not the one that took the picture. She didn't take her own picture there or of the kids. She, I, and I doubt very much it was her that manipulated the photo. I really do. Because if it was a little tweak here and there, but they're saying there's up to 13 manipulations, color changes, this, that, and the other, things being spliced together. You know, I don't really see someone who is kind of recovering after some kind of major surgery or trauma to the body being kind of uh, up for all of that. Uh, and if she did, it was it was poorly advised. Uh, and also as well, you know, the work should have been checked, but there's no denying that, that apparently William was the one who took the photo. So he, he is the one that has essentially put that photograph out, yet Kate has taken the blame. Mm, I'm not so sure about that. Uh, next one here is the four of wands. So, ah, oh, with the, uh, God, my mind, yeah, four of wands is normally the happy home, isn't it? It's normally the, you know, it's normally celebration and, uh, you know, it's like the two women wearing garlands and it's like weddings, passing a milestone and stuff like that. But this is coming next to a card that deals with defense, yeah, defending oneself. So it's almost like, yes, they're trying to, what, defend the family. Yeah, the Four of Wands is a very family-oriented card. But it also suggests that something's past a certain milestone. It's past a certain milestone. And then when we look here, we've got the Queen of Wands, yeah? So, of course, that has to be Kate. What I... <laughs> I'm taking from this is that when we put it all together, like I said, Kate's been having a dark night of the soul, but I'm assuming, assuming she's conscious and well, I just still don't want to go quite down that route of, you know, where people are saying she's in a coma and, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. But is she in a very depleted state? I think she likely is. Otherwise, they would have used her real picture, wouldn't they? They wouldn't. If she was not in a depleted state or in a state where she didn't feel like she could face uh, the public, they would not need to put forward a doctored image of her that global agencies have issued a kill notice on. So let's just put that one to bed. Yeah, that's and that's not conspiracy theory, anything like that. That is logic. That's just common sense, isn't it? It's common sense. What it looks like to me here, if we take this, uh, Queen of Wands as Catherine, and let's read it backwards. You know, sometimes I like to read backwards. Here, the Queen of Wands, which is uh, uh, a card of of passion, uh, of uh, bringing everyone together. It is also a woman. Normally, it's got the black cat in there. It's a woman who uses her intuition. It's the one that everyone rallies uh, around. So obviously, Kate represents that very much for the royal family. And on paper, she is the future queen. There is an element here where she might be defending um, her family. I think this is her children. Yeah. I really do. I think there's an element here where Kate is trying to defend her kids. Yeah. The seven of wands when we read it that way. And she's looking for justice of some kind. And this justice that she uh, uh, is wanting 
could produce a huge tower moment, or it is the tower moment for the royal family, I think. And and that's why sometimes as well, I like to read the, the cards in the backward order, because then from the last card, you see it from that card's perspective. And this is the Queen of Wands. So this is so this is Kate. So reading it forward, I think this is what the palace have tried to do to defend against the rumors. Yeah, the, the seven of wands. Yeah. So if we look at it from the, the like the palace are just like, oh my God, we're having a tower moment here. Kate's not been seen. We need to do something. We need to kind of bring some justice to this or some kind of sense of an ending or or something official trying to defend the image of the royal, royal family uh, and Kate by putting an image out of her, but reading it backwards, we see it from Kate's perspective. And there's something has significantly happened here where I feel like she's been changed forever. Something that the operation is part of that transformation in my opinion. And I think it's uh, it's highly significant. I have a feeling her life will not be the same way again. And I said that already in 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 uh, the video that I did with her on her astrology. Now I'm going to ask about uh, William. Did William uh, do the photographs? Now, actually, I want to go to my. Let's see here. I'll go to my Art Nouveau deck. Did William manipulate the photographs? Or if it wasn't him directly, it could have been an assistant, but they were almost certainly male. I would not, I, I don't think a female photo editor with the Ferrari that was already around Kate would have let, to, let a picture go out without her wedding, wedding ring being on if you're trying to quell rumors. Uh, I'm convinced a woman would not have missed that. Us men, yes, we miss that sort of thing. Women don't, in general. All right, William. What's going on with him? And did he manipulate the photograph? And I'm sorry, you know, for those that might be bored of the whole royal family thing and stuff like that, because obviously there's been a lot swirling around. But I think with these recent things, mm, one can understand why. All right. Let's ask William photo. William, mm, I'm feeling like he at the very least supervised it. That's what my instinct is coming through. Let's see. If we see things like the Two of Pentacles, which is juggling things, that can deal with manipulation. If we see the magician, yeah. We see the magician, definitely, absolutely. Seven of Swords trying to get away with something. That would be another one as well. Any card that can imply sleight of hand, yeah, uh, if that shows up, then, yeah, then it will definitely, it would pertain to him. We know that's already happened, but let's see what the cards reveal. Oh. Mm. Ah. Bloody hell. Oh, my goodness. All right. All right, folks. We're going to look a little bit at Kate's chart, but here. Seven of Cups. Illusions and delusions. Smoke screens. Here you can see with the seven of cups, the cups also as well, uh, also deal with the emotions. But but look at the unusual things that there's fairies in there, baubles, you know, look, there's a reptile in here. There's all these different kind of things in there. Uh, fool's gold even as well. So look, it, it, it was an illusion. Yeah. The cards are confirming it was an illusion. And in fact, I think it's a composite of other photographs put together because look at all the different variety of things in in this card this is a card of illusion delusion confusion it can show that the person themselves is confused but it can also show as well they might be trying to project an image that is not true which has now been categorically proven and the cards show it when we look here we've got the the eight of wands 
things are moving quickly yeah that's the actual obvious turned up in the obstacle position so in a way it's almost like the card is reversed so when the eight of wands is the right way up it is with speed yeah the, all of this of course is happening at lightning speed um speed direction felicity things moving at great pace when it's reversed it's almost the opposite of that is true so it's almost like something is stagnant here if we read it the other way around something is stagnant something is not moving this is almost like a, a story that refuses to budge because it's becoming more and more strange this can also mean as well um bad intentions in business so if we think in terms of the context of the photograph which was an illusion producing what bad intentions in business or for the firm look who's in the middle the king of cups this obviously it has to be william yeah we've had the queen of wands turn up for kate now i'm reading about william voila we get the king of cups so this is william here so that is really giving a yes now if we look here the king of cups deals with emotions etc stuff like that this is also uh, someone who's soulful and sensitive uh, this is often what the biden card but you always have to look at the context and when i show you the last card you'll see why this has taken on a little bit more of a, a negative connotation because one of the things the king of cups is known for is manipulation and emotional abuse yeah remember that here we have the chariot so things are moving at a pace this is someone trying to take control of the situation by taking action yeah and i'll be careful actually because sometimes they say you have to cover the boobies yeah um but this is uh this is coming next to the king card so this is william trying to take action so i think it was the case of the situation was stagnant it wasn't moving the rumor mill wasn't going anywhere he decided, he, King of Cups, decided to take action, yeah, the, the chariot, but look at the outcome card. What were the, what were the intentions of this photograph? What were William's perhaps feelings and context for this illusion and delusion? Look, yeah, I have to cover the naked parts. The devil. Yeah, and I won't even hold it up too long because then, you know, the video might be demonetized. The devil is the final card, major arcana. So what that says to me, and again, I'm just reading the cards here, that says to me the intention was to manipulate and throw people off the scent. Because I think Kate has reached a moment in her life, this tower moment in, in her life where she's making She's going through the dark night of the soul and assuming that she's alive and well and stuff and breathing and all that stuff. She's probably doing some key decisions and she's probably making definite decisions about her family. William, on the other hand, seems to be wanting to project this image of the perfect family. So he's like, right, we'll put out this photograph of Mother's Day. And it looks like it may have been cobbled together the night before. Either way, it wasn't a slick job. And that has revealed with the devil there. Now, remember as well, what does the devil also talk about? It talks about codependency. It talks about skullduggery. It talks about corruption. It can also deal with addictions as well. Addictions, um, difficult behavior, uh, psychological mental health issues as well. The devil card. It is, it's, it's almost never good to see it show up unless the cards around it are very very positive which means you know a person could be overcoming addiction etc and stuff like that but you, you don't want to see this card turn up this is even more manipulative than of course than the magician yeah and remember i said cards that uh, denote manipulation would fur further uh ratify that yes it seems that i would say that uh, William uh, probably did the Photoshop, which is why it wasn't to the higher standard that probably Kate would have produced. Or if it was not him, it was closely supervised, but then a professional, remember, also would not have made such mistakes, especially if it was to squash a rumor about Kate's well-being. So for me, I think it was a, a slightly cack-handed attempt, shall we say, by William to, pre to present a certain image, which hasn't, of course, been, been believed. 
and uh it's kind of fallen flat and now the speculation is wild but remember the last card here devil card so um i think that kind of uh uh says it all yeah and with that king of cups so yeah i think it was not only it was william that put it together released it to the official kind of um because the thing is look it doesn't mean that picture was vetted. It probably wasn't. It may have just been pushed through by William. Think about it. You know, because, you know, when you first see the photograph, you think, oh, what a great photograph. But a professional wouldn't have, wouldn't have missed that. It, you know, it was pit, pretty much picked up straight away. So I have a feeling is, is that, you know, William did it and he's pushed that out to quell the rumours, because, you know, obviously people are concerned. Now they're even more concerned than they were before. Let's do, um, I'll do my share screen, and we'll just have a quick look-see at Kate's chart, and then I'm going to call it a day there, methinks. And then I'll do Diana at, at some uh, point. So let's do this. And I'll probably do a deep dive again into Harry and uh, Megan. Uh, let's do share. It's taking a little while to get itself going. Nah, this is taking a while. Oh, there we go. Sorry for that delay. Now let's get up the charts. Oh, come on, computer, heaven's sake. Sorry, guys. There we go. You should be able to see this. All right. So this is Catherine's chart here. Uh, Kate or Catherine, Princess of Wales, born on 9th of January 1982 at 7 p.m., according to the majority of uh, astrological websites. So remember what I was saying before, look, uh, her rising sign is Cancer, yeah, Cancer rising. So she does have a royal uh, sign uh, as a rising sign. The royal signs are... Uh, Cancer, Leo, and Sagittarius. William is a Sagittarius rising. Yep, so they're both they're both royals. Surprise, surprise. Uh, even actually, Meghan actually is Cancer ascendant as well. That might be a controversial thing to say, but she's now royal as well. Funny that, isn't it? Anyway, um, it's just how these things uh, work. Harry, I think, is uh, is Capricorn ascendant. I think he doesn't have a royal one. Anyway. The point is now what's important you remember i was talking about kate's stomach so if we count round uh, the signs of the houses of the zodiac also represent different parts of the body so the first house represents the top of the head and the face the sec uh, sorry the top of the head and the whole body in general second house represents the face the third house represents the arms yeah and the hands the fourth house represents the fourth chakra or the chest or the bosom the fifth house represents the solar plexus or also uh, connected with the heart. But the sixth house represents the stomach. And remember, I said she's got two holes in her stomach and a whirlpool. Why did I say that? Here is Neptune in the Gandanta point here, which happens between water going into fire. Last two degrees of water. So 28, 29 degrees of water and into a zero, one, two degrees of a fire sign. You will see here Neptune is at one degree, 51 minutes, putting it right in the Gandanta point. Gandanta point means karmic, not all. Or drowning it's like a whirlpool so it means she's got a whirlpool of emotions and feelings going on in her stomach as you've heard me say before she is cancer rising but not only that that rising sign is in the nakshatra aslacia aslacia is the embracer the entwiner but uh, it's very mystical. It deals with the esoteric. It deals with spirituality. It deals with the occult, the hidden knowledge. So Kate actually does have quite an interest in hidden knowledge, uh, probably tarot cards, stuff like that. Really wouldn't surprise me at all. I've seen it so I've seen it so often with my own clients and stuff. And also as well, I've got the same ascendant nakshatra as her as well. And look at what I do for a living. Yeah. <laughs> so she's probably interested in these things. However, the shadow of, of this nakshatra can mean 
being in a whirlpool of emotions, not being able to let go of things and having issues with the mental health and stuff like that. Sometimes it can mean dark thoughts. Now, most of the time, of course, she's happy and smiling, but we know she's had a tough time of it recently. And do you remember the fingers are bound up as well? That's also what's put in the article. And, you know, I'm not even going to go into what the connotations of that could be. You know, I let you guys investigate that for yourself. But we have seen her with taped up fingers, particularly getting close uh, to this time of, of crisis. So here you've got that Neptune swirling there. Remember as well, Neptune also deals with film and photography. Obviously, she's an avid photographer. Uh, but it can also deal as well with alcohol, drink, drugs or getting out of one's uh, body. It can also do with escape and stuff like that, but it's very sensitive, very spiritual planet happening in the stomach. The sun is said to burn a hole in whatever house it's in, except the 10th over here. She's got in the sixth in the stomach. There is the burning there. There could have been stuff issues definitely with you you know with digestion at the very least probably due to emotional turmoil and upset because of maybe her situation at home particularly when we see the cards that i got for william i'm sure you can agree on that and then if we look here as well we have k2 and k2 is like literally like a like a vortex literally like a vortex literally a hole which deals with the uh, the waste elements uh, K2 is very similar to Scorpio and it deals with excreting things. So this also as well could talk about potentially issues with the colon or the bowels, um, stuff like that. I think uh, Whimsy, uh, who many of you uh, watch, uh, she was also talking about uh, maybe something to do with Crohn's disease and reconstructing uh, the, you know, the bowel, maybe a need for potentially even a colostomy bag or something like that. You know, that that of course remains to be seen and that of course is still speculation at this stage but given the situation with the photograph and stuff like that it's you know these things are harder aren't they to kind of dismiss because manipulation has been proven now and this has put obviously a question of doubt over the the palace so when you put these three together we can see here there's definitely issues there in the stomach area so is it any surprise that she's had an operation um, in the stomach slash bowel area? For all Cancer Ascendants, Saturn is the Lord of the seventh house and the eighth house. Now, one thing I will tell you this, Cancer as a rising sign is a very fortunate sign overall. But let me tell you, you know where we where Cancerians really get, and I've seen this after reading, as you know, God, you know, almost thousands of charts now, but, you know, a thousand 500 plus and then some that's not even accurate it's probably more like 1700 but it doesn't matter but in the last few years but the point is i know this phenomena and the cancer ascendant does often struggle with the spouse uh one of the things that can be difficult for cancer ascendants a true cancer ascendants is that sometimes the the person they marry can have a Saturnian quality to them because, of course, Saturn rules the sign of Capricorn and Aquarius. So if we count round from Kate's Ascendant, which house is affected? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you can see here she has two planets in her seventh house. The seventh house is anyone that's not us. Also deals with business partners, the outside world, name, fame, reputation. But it also speaks about the partner, too. Now, if you look here, she's got Venus and Mercury together in the nakshatra called Shravana, which uh, the symbol of which is the ear. And it means being able to hear the higher voices uh, of God, etc., and stuff like that. So there is a tremendous sensitivity to Kate as well. Uh, but, you know what 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 has been playing in her ears what has she been hearing shall we say let's put it that way without getting too far down a dark road but you know what i mean remember what i said about aslacia but here as well she's got venus retrograde now venus represents the spouse for men or women for men as you saw in william's chart venus literally represents the wife for a woman's chart jupiter represents the husband so if we look here if we go here and we look at this context here jupiter represents the significant men in a person's life for um kate of course this uh, this also represents secondary characteristics of the father but this could also be her uncle yeah 
who was what recently in Celebrity Big Brother, got booted out, thank goodness, at least a little bit of her suffering is over, and was booed out of the place for basically trying to uh, make money off the, you know, at a time in her life where he really should have withdrawn. He really should have withdrawn, but obviously he's not the type of person to do that. Um, but look, here, the husband, this can also as well, this will also, secondary characteristics of the father, this can also talk about the father-in-law, so this can also be Charles, particularly here as well, the giveaways, you see series is here, series is where we get the name serial from, series is the original or the Roman Greek, Greek Roman name for the Greek goddess Demeter, the goddess of harvest. Uh, Demeter had a very famous daughter called Persephone, who was abducted and taken into the underworld by who? Pluto or Hades, god of the underworld. So when I'm reading charts, Ceres represents three things. It's not just love, care and devotion, like a mother's love for someone or something. I found it also represents Persephone and uh, Hades. And what I found is wherever series is now in people's charts, and I've read so many charts, and this is so true, wherever series is, it can also show where we've lost something and we're trying to get it back or we fear losing something very dear to us. She's got series next to the husband. Yeah. We all know about the rumors now and stuff like that. And people say, well, blah, 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 blah. I'm not even going to even repeat what, what they are. Certain things cannot be reported in the British press. You need to look to uh, Europe, other places, or even some parts of uh, American news. Anyway, Pluto is here. Hades is with the husband. God of the underworld. What was the last card that came out for William? Right. Let's join the dots here. So there's an element here of also as well, there's an element here of abduction or being snatched away. I think this is also as well, maybe Kate's feeling about her public image uh, or how she feels perhaps around William in the sense maybe her power being taken or not being able to be herself or in some way being held captive or hostage in some kind of way. I have to say what I see. Yeah, here it is. Pluto, um, series as well, also deals with gardening, flowers, etc., and stuff like that. So, of course, this is also talking about Prince Charles, who, of course, is the Duchy of Cornwall, who is a major food producer, and series slash Demeter is what? The goddess of harvest and food, nutrition. So it can show a significant man in her life who's interested in gardening, nature, and stuff like that. That is obviously Charles, isn't it? And Charles is very intense as well. He's got an intensity to him, but he wants to what? Transform the world. So if we look at this uh, in a positive, this can represent significant men in her life that want to transform the world. This can also talk about William with his earth shot. Remember, earth shot prize, because Ceres also represents Gaia. Yeah, Mother Earth. William has the earth shot prize, which is this, I think it's an annual prize uh of of money to to people or person or persons or organizations that can come up with remedies for solving issues on planet earth so you see how both are true yeah both are true but that pluto energy is there can also deal with manipulation and control yeah even things like violence and stuff like that you know pluto is a dark dark planet we also see here as well, there's a challenge here too. Now, um, William, uh, Catherine and William both have this combination because remember, they're only born six months apart. They're born on the eclipses, but the eclipses happen six months apart. So here, it's, uh, Saturn and Mars were actually still in the sign of Virgo. Saturn is very strong there, showing tremendous work ethic and discipline that Kate has. The third house also deals with artisans, uh, entertainers of all kinds, skills with the hands and stuff. She obviously uh, likes to uh, uh, do the photographs and stuff. And not just that, she also plays the piano. I don't know if she does other uh, musical instruments and stuff, but also as well, Saturn can represent classical music. So I've literally, I think it was for uh, some... Wasn't it the uh, big thing for the Golden Jubilee or something like that? Kate played on the piano. Do you remember there was a little bit, little bit of that? 
but also as well, uh, Mars represents uh, siblings, yeah, brothers in particular. This can speak about Kate's um, genetic brother, but this can also be Harry. And it's also uh, repeats again in William's chart. Now, when here, Mars is technically in an enemy sign when it's in Virgo because Mercury and uh, Mars are not considered friends. Mercury doesn't mind Mars, but Mars doesn't like Mercury. So whenever you see Mars in the signs of Gemini or Virgo, there's almost always an issue with the brother. When he's up here in the sign of Gemini, for most of my clients, which are American, they're often the brother is a trumper or very, very argumentative in some kind of way. That's just how it's been. I'm not saying it's a sin to, you know, like Trump or whatever, but as you know, it's a very divisive character and it's split many families. What I have found down here, when Mars is actually in Virgo, very often there might be a health, big health issue with a brother or something like that. The positive is him working in medicine or et cetera. Uh, but very often the brother is estranged. So you see how this applies to both Kate and William, who both have the same combination happening in a different house for William because he's Sagittarius rising. But it is in the same, uh, it's the same combination. And actually for William, it's happening in his 10th house. He's Sagittarius rising one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so this, this, uh, this estrangement from his brother is a very public one. But for Kate, you can also see that estrangement also being, um, being there. And there may be also some strain as well with her own brothers and sisters, maybe uh, in regards to the duties and responsibilities that she has. Um, Saturn is a separating force. So that what I suspect is Kate is probably not being able to see her brother and sister as much as she would like because of her duties and her responsibilities. So I think while she's recuperating at this time as well, she's probably being able to, I would imagine, I hope to enjoy some time uh, with her family and stuff like that. I'm gonna stop the share there because otherwise I don't want the video to get too long. And I think we're um, at the kind of pretty much the hour point by now. I oh, know like, well, oh yeah, oh yeah, there we are, but just, just over an hour. I think I'll, I think I'll leave it there, but to wrap up, and I think this just backs up the earlier video, Kate is definitely having a deep, dark night of the soul. I genuinely, as I've said before, I really wish her the best. She's really going through the ringer at this point. You saw the cards that I got for William. You know, you make up your own mind, but this stuff isn't BS or speculation. Well, it's speculation, but it's, it's not mindless gossip what i've shared with you guys and i think you can agree that there's been quite a level of logic and i have uh, presented my arguments and the astrology which seems to back up uh but we are certainly not as i said in kate's video we are certainly not being given the whole truth for a lot of people they don't care and that's fine if you're not interested in the, in these things, that's totally fine. But if you are, then I can understand why, like me, you would be very concerned. And for me, let me know your thoughts about that picture in the car. My instinct was that it looked so much like Pippa to me. But, you know, maybe I'm reading into that too much. But when you look at the cards and the astrology, you know, it's really starting to point in certain directions. Anyway, um, I hope you liked that video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with others if you found it uh, interesting. And uh, I'll put the links to this video uh, that I mentioned uh, below where you can see what some of the media are discussing. But that clip to that uh, Australian 7 doodah or whatever, watch it. Yeah. And they they just go with the facts. They just go with the timeline on that very interesting. All right, I will leave it there for now. Oh, I didn't really want to do the video, but anyway, it's done now. And um, thank you, everyone. And uh, you'll see me with uh, Jen uh, Bushman uh, tomorrow. Actually, we're doing a collaboration. So I will leave it there. And after that, of course, it'll be Thursday Fribe. Mwah! Big love, everyone. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now. All right. Bye.